hello guys welcome back to my channel guys if you are seeing me for the first time my name is Joyce Anyangu for my subscribers thank you very much for my returning subscribers you are the best I appreciate you guys so in today's topic I will be talking on how to find apartment in Germany you know when you are new in a country it's very very difficult for you to find a place moreover if you are not speaking the language like in germany they speak dutch they don't speak english although a lot of people understand english but their language the official language is dutch you know so what are you have to do for a new person or a new uh, uh, when you are new in the, in germany the first thing i would advise is for you to look for a short term accommodation which is which means that you you can look for a place that you can be sharing with a friend like an apartment with a friend or a colleague if you are coming here for like to study or you are coming here to work you know you can look for a friend or a colleague and share apartment because sometimes in germany you can see get an apartment that uh, somebody want to move out and they will publish it in newspaper you look and you can get that or somebody move in and is looking for somebody to share the apartment with that is what is looking for somebody to share that apartment with they will publish it in a newspaper and you look at that you read newspaper and you check on it then you can call and then you negotiate with the person if it's the person that needs you then you guys can share the apartment and the second one is a b and b yeah von gemeinschaft a b and b a b and b is also accommodation for short term you know i hope i know a lot of people know of a b and b that is a short term accommodation before you start looking for your own apartment so like for example after you stay there for short time and now you want to look for apartment and i will be giving you guys the easier website that you can go and you search for your apartment and i'll be listing them out you know the website that you can get apartment or house or whatever you you want if you want to live in an apartment you want to live in a villa you want anything you want you just go through this website you go you go to google you google the website out you call them some you email them if there's telephone number you call if there's an email address you email them and then they will reply you so let me go straight and give you those website i'll be writing them on the screen so that you can see the spellings then the second imobi scott24.de so that is the second one and it's com von.com so the another one is imovet imovet.de you know imovet.de that is the the i think the fit one so so guys and people also you know like i earlier say some people when they are moving out of their house or they are they want to change apartment they want to move to another apartment they always publish also in a newspaper you know that is why when you are looking for apartment it's better for you to still be looking on newspaper because some people they want to move out and maybe why people always publish their apartment in newspaper is because number one maybe the rent that is the caution that is the the, the caution that they paid is have not yet expired or they just want somebody to give them back that money so that before they can move in there because when you want to go through the agent that gave you the house or the company that gave you the house they cannot refund that agent fee immediately they will first of all come and check the house if you have anything spoiled 
and uh, uh, you know so forth and so forth so if the person wants that money fast fast then he will want somebody to take over from from uh, from he or she and another one is that maybe the property that is in that house maybe the person want to move to another state or another country or so forth and so on so the property that is in that house you want to give them out you know you want to give them out that sometime you want somebody to come in so that he can buy those things from uh from he or she so that it can it can be faster for him than for him to be packing property up and down so that is the reason why people not that the house is not good or something that is uh, those the reasons that make people to put their houses or their apartment in newspaper to change immediately talking about the requirement you need before you go and rent apartment the requirement you need before you go to rent apartment you know in germany you cannot just go to agent and say i need a home if they give you a home before they make the contract because people will write contract of the house they will give them you need documents to back up to need document to prove your identity before they can give you a house before they can make that uh, contract for you you know so the the requirement document you need to rent apartment so number one on my list is your passport your val valid passport or your id you know valid passport moreover if you are a foreigner you just came into germany they always prefer you to give them your passport id most of the time is when you're already in germany and you have a resident permit or you are a german citizen before they always ask for your id but when you just came so right now i'm talking of when you are just you just enter germany you need your passport your valid passport to send that before they will give you a house and the second one is your pay slip if you are working you have to be working in germany before you can get a house or you have to be under social benefit before you because they, they they want to be sure that you can be able to pay for that apartment so you have to present something either you are working or you are under social benefit before they can give you an apartment so they want to know either your pay slip or you show paper that you are getting money from government before they will give you a house so another one is you have to uh, provide address registration yeah that is address registration which means like amen don't be shiny go you have to know when you come to germany newly if you want to stay in germany more than three months there's something they call ameldon that is to address to you go to um start that is the local government here and you you register that you are in germany and you should give them the address of your house they will put it in computer and which means you are illegally living in Germany. So now they will give you what they call Amel don't be shiny gone. Anywhere you go as a foreigner, if you want to make any paperwork, they always ask of that Amel don't be shiny gone. That is your address, the, the proof to show that you are living legally in Germany. That is what they call Amel don't be shiny gone. So you should give, you present it for them so the second one is statement from your previous landlord yes that one again is when you're already living you are living in germany and you want to move from one house to another then that former house that you were living the landlord of that house have to give you a statement that if you are a good person what happened why did you want to leave the house if you are a good person or a bad person, if you normally pay your rent, if you are a troublemaker, you know, just talk about you, just write that statement. Then the former landlord. So if you are not good with your former landlord, it's another problem too. Then 
because your former landlord, if you are not growing or you don't pay your rent or you always make problem, they will still he will, he or she will still write it in that statement. So guys, if you have watched this video to this time, thank you very very much for watching. Guys, please subscribe to my channel if you know that you have not subscribed. Like this video, share it out to your friends and family. Thank you, drop good comment. Thank you very much for always coming back to watch my video. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.